Sex is a favorite topic among Red Della Cruz's girlfriends. You know, they, they just want to talk about like, you know, what, what your boyfriend doing with you and how to do this and that. I've learned a lot from them <laughs> because we're, we're always talking about sex and my friend was also a bit naughty. Despite this, serious discussions on sexual health is still taboo. But it's the silence that allows misconceptions to, well, reproduce. But some girl buy condom because they, they think that when you put your condom into your wallet, it's a lucky charm. That's what I heard from them. Really, that's what I heard from them, from my friends. <laughs> a lucky charm for what? I don't know. Do not get buntis. Red has made it her career to sell sexy in order to promote safe sex as a brand ambassador. It's very, very easy to get a disease without using condoms. Tell your boyfriend to use condom before sex. The law is no longer a barrier to buying condoms in the Philippines, but the fear of standing in line with a pack might be. This condom company has been marketing condoms to Filipinos for over 20 years and says social stigma still plays a huge role in low condom use. I hope that someday um, people would realize that you know it's, it's a product that is there to protect them. Um, we're not here to promote sex, but we are acknowledging the fact that, you know, more people are doing it. Whether more people are doing it, they're certainly not talking about it. Stigma associated with it is you're loose. You're promiscuous, you're loose, you don't have morals. That's a stigma associated with buying a condom. Norman insists the problem is not access, but the fear of being judged. Here in the Philippines, women are are judged unfairly if they if they buy condoms and to think that um, they are the ones who will suffer all the consequences if if they get pregnant so women should learn how to buy condoms fear of judgment keeps many girls behind closed doors and looking to the web for answers but this has its complications there's a danger there's a danger because no one actually um, moderates the information that you get with the passage of the RH bill in the Philippines, the next step is changing attitudes and transcending inhibitions. Reproductive health advocates say it's now time for sex education to take center fold. Devin Wong, Rappler, Manila.